I'm very lucky because not everybody has had the chance to, you know, receive this life-saving treatment. And I'm very thankful to the NHS, the staff, you know, the doctors and the nurses who spent day and night looking after me. 16 years old and hit by COVID back in August. At around midnight, I collapsed in my house and I just, my parents were calling the ambulance. It was very hectic. So I said she will be normal and she will be back in one or two days. And in the morning, you know, when we woke up in the morning, my husband phoned me and said, she's no good. She's, she's getting more worse and worse. And we were sitting outside and waiting for any news. And uh, I was hoping good news, but the condition was not like, not good. She was getting worse and worse. One, two, three, and up. Lovely. Areeb is going home tomorrow, more than three months after being admitted yep. to King okay. George Hospital in Ilford, yep. then rushed to Papworth Hospital yep. for specialist yep. treatment known as ECMO. Yep. She's yep. one of the youngest patients ever to get it. When I woke up, I did feel kind of scared, especially at night time. I was, had that constant fear that the machines would fail and I'd just be there and maybe the nurse is asleep and, you know... I'll just die in the middle of the night. We phoned the, the doctor again and said, do whatever you can do to save my daughter's life. I was just begging on that day. And, you know, the word I was just hearing all time is poorly critical, poorly critical. There was like no hope. But they said, when she's in Cambridge Hospital, mom, nobody, there is a hope. I'm very lucky because not everybody has had the chance to, you know, receive this life-saving treatment. And I'm very thankful to the NHS, the staff, you know, the doctors and the nurses who spent day and night looking after me. Walk to the door, mm -hmm. turn around and come back, okay. all right? She's a lovely patient, um, really upbeat. Um, you can see the youthfulness in her. Areeb's way of saying thank you to join the call for young people to get vaccinated. When I woke up and I saw BBC News, like they put it on the TV, I remember they were saying that the vaccine's now available to 12 to 15 year olds. I kind of wish that I had that chance. So yeah, I definitely say take the vaccine. It could help save your life.